Jonathan Kamoga is a border border rider in Kampala, a teacher by profession. Kamoga decided to abandon teaching for the motorcycle to make ends meet. Sincere, I don't enjoy, but I just come in just to supplement my income of the border border. However, his earnings from the border border business also do not meet his family demands. Kamoga says he decided to start engaging in sports betting to supplement his meager earnings from the border border. Doing that job of border border is not enough. So I think that maybe if I get let's say 5,000, I come in this house. Last year, Parliament passed a law to regulate rotaries and gaming in the country and also set up a regulatory board to safeguard the youth from the negative effects of gambling. Sincerely, at times I come here because I don't have what to do. I come here when I don't have anything to do. Even my brothers also come here when they don't have what to do. So they think, let, let us try our luck. Yes, my biggest payout has been 146 million shillings to one client. He played like 50k and then also he put many matches on his ticket. So the multiplier effect of those odds made it a very big payout, potential payout. And then he was right. And then he won. Well, we've added value to their lives, yes. Um, as I said, the big winner, we, we, did, we do track, we know what he's did with, done with the money. He bought a whole lot, of, whole lot more equipment for his business, his entertainment business. You look for what you want, and most of us like uh, Premier League. The board, which has been in existence for just about three months, imposed stiff measures to regulate the youth engaging in sports betting. According to our act, it's 25. Anyone below the age of 25 should not access any gaming premises or access any gaming machine. So we are trying to implement that and any operator, any operator that is found voting that rule um, um, is running a risk of, of losing their license or revocation of their license and arrest in some instances. However, this seems to contradict the Supreme Law that stipulates that one becomes an adult at the age of 18. And uh, we are looking at the age in between 18 and 25 as the formative age. This is an age where when someone has, um, has, just left, has just left senior six and is going to the university. Majority of the, of the, of the, of the students at university are between, are between 18 and, and 24 at most, or 25 at most. So we're looking at, at a definitive stage in life. As a measure to discourage young people from betting, government has shifted part of the tax burden to the gamblers. It will just discourage us to come here and yet this this, this house also has been a um, source of unemployment to our brothers and sisters. January of last year up to December of 2016 was 35 billion. This year we are looking at getting about, about, about 45 to 50 billion. This in essence means if you win 10,000 shillings, 1,500 shillings will be deducted as tax to government. The new measure has reduced the tax to betting companies from 35% to 20% and shifting the burden of 15% onto the gamblers. It was a tax of 35%, and uh, it was uh, it was bought by the it was bought by the operators. However, now we've introduced uh, a 15% tax on winnings, and this winning is paid by the player, is paid by the punter uh, or a gamer, and uh, it's uh, it's a withholding tax, and the and the operators are acting as as withholding agents. The gaming industry employs over 5,000 people. However, betting companies say the move will instead force their clients to bet with foreign companies online so as to avoid a tax and in the long run reduce revenue government collects from gaming. We need to be able to control our borders as Uganda. In other words, making sure that people do not now go and bet somewhere else on an international website where there's no winnings tax. So what, what can happen now is now the online bettors can run to some of the other big online betting companies that do not have a license in Uganda and where there's no winnings tax being imposed on their winnings. The Rotterdam Gaming Board has so far licensed 29 companies to operate in Uganda. Jingo Francis, NTV.